day thirteen. Day thirteen. I don't know what that one was, but it was an interesting intro for me. Um, hello, welcome back to Inktober 2020. Uh, today's word was dune, or June, or, you know, like a sand dune. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like a sand dune. Dune, June, do, do, dune, do, June. D-U-N-E. That is what the word was. Dune. And, um, yeah. I wanted this one to be a bit more detailed and in-depth than my previous few because I had a bit more time today and I wanted to make the most of it. So I went with a full-page illustration of Dieta on the beach because you know sand dune <laughs> so he's sitting on a sand dune looking out into the ocean with a forlorn expression and the sun setting on the horizon behind some more sand dunes so yeah it's <laughs> I don't know I just wanted to draw a sunset and the ocean and yeah obviously Dieta is part of the image because my ink table is based around him and Irela so yeah I tried to be more detailed with the line art because obviously it's quite simple um so I made the effort to add extra strokes for shade and just you know detail in the line art give it a bit more dimension instead of just flat um yeah it i had fun with it i think i might attempt this a similar thing again if i oh, sorry <laughs> yawn that's that's today's yawn enjoy that um yeah, I, I I don't really know what to say. I just, I like the effect it had. I took my time with it. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm enjoying it so much. I actually took my time with this piece of art instead of rushing it to make sure I got it done in time. And it turned out really well. I mean, I... <laughs> I, um... Don't have much to say. I took my time and had fun and just did a full page illustration in full colour and had fun instead of stressing. Um, it's obviously not my usual type of art. Like I'm very much a draw a cute girl kind of artist because cute girls are fun to draw. Um, so this kind of full page illustration with background and all that is not my usual forte but I I made myself have fun with it instead of stressing. I just had fun with the colours and had fun with some masking fluid as you can see and just tried to make it as interesting to look at as possible whilst also just, you know, enjoying the process <laughs> it's yeah it's just yeah I don't really have much to say it's just I had fun I just painted with inks on this paper and mixed them together and blended them and took my time I let every layer dry before the next one and yeah, oh, it was just nice, you know, after so many days of rushing artwork, actually getting to sit down and enjoy the process of such a big piece was really nice. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say. What else should I talk about? <laughs> I don't really know. 
why don't you guys give me something to talk about? Maybe some questions or something, and I'll answer some questions tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> you on? Um, yeah, and I can answer some questions tomorrow in like a Q and A type thing. I don't know. I doubt I'm going to get enough questions by tomorrow to do that though. So maybe I'll um collect questions in the next few videos for another Q and A on like day twenty or something. That could be fun. What do you think? Are you keen for that? Let's just say you are and just have you ask me a bunch of questions for it. I think that's the best idea. Because then I'm going to actually have something to talk about during these videos instead of, you know, what did I do today? I went shopping and I bought myself a salted caramel latte iced latte it's hot today and it sucked I actually had to wear shorts and ugh. um yeah but it is adorable seeing my daughter crawl around in just a nappy I'm just saying I just <laughs> she's been in full winter wear for so long seeing her crawling around in nothing but a nappy and a singlet is just kind of adorable I forgot how small she was it's strange it's like Seeing a cat with all its fur shaved off, it's like so much smaller. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's an interesting image that I just gave myself. I'm not going to shave my cats, don't you worry. <laughs> so, I had fun mixing the colours. It didn't actually occur to me until right now that I actually only used primary colours for this entire piece. So, yay for limited color palettes folks <laughs> uh, I am so tired I just want to go to bed but I'm still talking because this needs a voiceover and I will power through for you because you deserve to listen to me ramble about nothing for the next three minutes <laughs> uh, the things I do for you the things I do so, who's excited for Christmas? <laughs> Anybody? If you don't celebrate Christmas, ignore the question. But, like, everywhere's getting the Christmas decoration sections up in stores now, and I'm just like, eee, I want to decorate! I'm so excited for Christmas decorations! Um, yes, but it's too early to decorate for Christmas at this point. And it occurred to me recently that I'm never going to be able to decorate for Christmas um, until... The, at least the 10th of November for the rest of my life now because my daughter's birthday is on the 9th of November and I don't want her birthday to be surrounded by Christmas decorations. So I'm never going to be able to decorate Christmas stuff until after, like, the 9th of November now and that's sad for me. Like, I know a lot of people don't like decorating for Christmas too early because there's some, I don't know, party poopers, but I enjoy Christmas decorations they make me happy and I don't know it's something about Christmas decorations in the house just really soothes my anxiety and makes me really calm so I like decorating as soon as possible and leaving up as long as possible um by that I mean I take them down before the first of January because that's just you know can't have Christmas decorations up the year after that's weird anyway um but yeah, Christmas decorations make me so happy and comfortable and it's just nostalgic and makes me think of being a kid again and I love it. And now I have to wait till the 10th of November. It's like, it's unfair. It's like rude. How dare she be born so late in November? She should have been born in October so that I could decorate on the 1st of November again because it's, it's just rude. So rude. Unfair. <laughs> don't mind me I'm just complaining about nothing I don't really mind too much but yeah it helps that I have fairy lights around my room now because I think it's the fairy lights that's that complete the Christmas decoration so having the nice warm yellow fairy lights up and around my room and around my desk I just turn them on when I'm feeling like I want something to make my anxiety calm down and it really helps but I am excited to get my Christmas tree up. Oh my gosh, Christmas decorating is so much fun. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll shut up about Christmas decorating. Um, 
you can enjoy the end of the video. Watch me highlight, add little sparkles to everything with white ink. And yeah, it's, it's all done. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed my rambling. And have a lovely day. Please like, comment, subscribe, all those fun and fantastic YouTube things. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. Oh, na, 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 na. Yeah. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye.